My name is Jeremy and welcome to my channel. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I am kind of feeling like in an emotionally low place, I like to go and do a little bit of retail therapy and just go to town and buy a lot of things that I probably don't need, but that I really needed in that moment. And I tend to justify everything that I buy with like, oh, I need this for this thing. Honestly, these cats, you need a little breather. Oh, I know. He just wants to play with you. You want to rip out his throat. You smell. And then there's this one. So I have decided to do a haul for haul's sake. And I'm going to show you guys all the crap that I went out and bought. This was a practical purchase because I don't want to have stink breath, so... We're off to a really great start. This giant contraption here, I really needed for a very long time. And I, it's a paper shredder. Do I want this receipt? So my mom gave me a gift card for my birthday and it was to Marshalls. And I don't usually shop at Marshalls, but I was like, I'll look around and see what's there. I didn't really find anything that I would like to wear. There wasn't really like my style, but I looked inside the home section, which I kind of talked about in the last vlog that I made. And I found some cool stuff that Jacob and I have like talked about wanting to have, or I think I just, I kind of, I got one thing that Jacob and I have talked about getting. This is a mirror that reflects up to five times, which is pretty freaking cool. You can see all of your flaws. Fuck, these puppies need some TLC. I put my eyebrows through so much torture over the years, and I finally got them to a place that I wanted, but I would like to be respected as a versatile top, so I'm trying to grow them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like was that it had this plastic handle and it looks like something that my grandma had in her house. Like it just looks really tacky and cheap like it came from the dollar store. But the metal one was another like 15 bucks. So I was like, mm, no thanks, that's like my whole gift card. Then I got this little cheap beauty blender which I definitely need to wash because the package was open when I found it. Oh wait, is it always like that? Oh, it never closes. Cool. What I liked about this was that it is only $3, and I kind of wanted to try Beauty Blender, but you know, it smells like lead. This is actually called Bea Beauty. This I could not, not get. It was just so freaking cute, even though I like want to kill my cat right now. Look, they're little black cat light strings. Oh my gosh. Look, it comes with the light strings which is kind of awesome. And then look, they come with little black kitties. I hope this doesn't like catch on fire. Are these LED lights? It doesn't say. Well, it might catch on fire. It doesn't come with batteries. Well, I guess I'll just put this away. And they were only $5. Then I went to Sally's and I got some stuff because I'm actually going to be dyeing my hair. I'm going to be cutting my hair super short on the sides and I'm going to dye the top um, like silverish and I'm going to have like some blue streaks through it. I'm really freaking excited guys. So I have all my, my dye stuff. It's going to be shark blue. Then I went to one of the greatest stores that has ever been built and that was Daiso and I got a couple little things for all my makeup consolidation needs. These are going to be for my brushes and then this is going to be for like my blenders and things like that and just some little stuff. I need to go through and organize my whole like makeup counter because it's just a mess and completely unorganized and just disaster. I love Daiso. If you've never been before, it is basically the Japanese version of our dollar store. Everything is $1.50 or more and everything is just practical and perfect. Like Mary Poppins. Still, I'm excited to have some organization in my life. And then this is just some tougher. I want to um, depot some of my um, some of my powders and I want to put it in here because I've noticed a lot of like big time drag queens do this. They don't keep their powders inside of whatever container they get. They take it out and then they like mix it with another powder they really like and then they have all of their powders and they're loose. I don't really know anything. I'm just doing what I'm seeing other drag queens do. These are meant for like little bentos I think. This is actually like probably the right portion size that you're supposed to have for your lunch box. I think I might go and buy some of these just for my normal snacking needs. I don't know what I'll put in them considering that like American snacks are not this size. Like I could probably fit one Dorito in here. 
one. Although that might not be the worst thing. Or I could crunch up like three Doritos and then just have a bunch of little tiny pieces of Dorito. And these gummy candies, I have literally been craving for about like two weeks now. I bought these, they're in the front little like impulse aisle and there are five different candies and you get all of this, it's 100 total for $1.50. So you have apple, which literally tastes like apple cider. I'm not even joking. There's an orange flavor that tastes straight up like oranges. This is muscat flavor and if you've never had it before, it's a little strange. Jacob and I have had muscat in the, it wasn't Haichu, it was right next to it. It's like the other, it's some kind of gummy candy that we have seen at Mitsuwa. And Muscat was the most disgusting thing we had both ever tried collectively in our entire lives. So we ended up throwing all the Muscat out. And when I saw that Muscat was a part of it, I was like, I'll try it, but I can't promise that I'm gonna like it. Muscat is like a fermented grape. It's really, a very different type of flavor and I don't know if I could explain it better than just saying it's like fermented grapes and so that's what it is but it's not bad this gummy candy is actually pretty good with the muscat flavor other muscat flavors that I've had are really really gross and then we have lychee which tastes literally like lychee and if you've never had one it's a really interesting fruit to explain. It tastes very floral. It comes in this really hard case that almost looks like a durian. And durians are those brown fruits that have the spikes all over them. You can kind of see it here in the background of this. Um, it, it's kind of like this red color. It's got kind of like a spiky outside. And then when you break into it, there's a nut right in the middle and there's this really soft kind of jelly-like fruit and you peel off the the fruit and you obviously don't want to eat the nut because it tastes really bad if you accidentally bite into it and it's really delicious it has a very floral taste to it it's weird and then my favorite flavor of candy which is great and this is just delicious it it does not taste like american flavors of grape like we have butchered and bastardized the flavor of grape in America and somehow the Japanese have gotten it right with their candy because their grape candy tastes like you're biting into a grape but you're also biting into a candy. It's this really beautiful marriage of flavors that you just do not find anywhere here in the United States. So thank you guys so much for watching this random little video. I'll see you guys all again next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!